Hey there guys, the No Quarter episode from the Icebrood Saga was recently released and with it came a new strike mission, the Cold War. I'm sure most of you watching are able to do this strike mission, but there are some mechanics that could overwhelm you. You really want to do this strike mission because of the unique bear armors you can unlock by doing this strike mission. And in order to unlock that, you need to complete this strike 50 times. If you want a guide on all the other strikes, check out my video I did with Ari. We discussed the mechanics, difficulty and the team comp positions of each strike mission in that video. Anyway, let's get into the video. As with all strike missions, it is easily accessible from the Eye of the North hub. You can also enter this particular one from the Drizzlewood Coast map. Once you are in the strike mission, you want to head over to the table and pick up an electromagnetic pulse. You need to have a mastery unlocked for this. This buff just costs 10 war supplies which you can easily gather from the Drizzlewood Coast meta events. This item allows you to do a good amount of damage to break a break bar of a champion or a legendary you will encounter. But next to that, it will also increase the effect of the next CC you apply to a break bar. Also, don't forget to stack up on the pylons before you head into battle. This helps you increase your damage and reduce incoming damage. If I had to give a difficulty to this strike mission, I'd say it has a medium difficulty. The first part of the strike is extremely easy, but later on it can get tricky and the last boss could overwhelm you and your squad. For the next 8 minutes, you will be fighting incoming char. Yes, I know, that is pretty long, but I'm sure you can pull it off. For the first 6 minutes or so, this is extremely easy, but after that, the char greatly increase in numbers, and this is where some squads get overwhelmed. Since these char come from all sides of the arena, it is good to pull them towards you instead of going to them. Therefore, I suggest to stay in a tight group. This way it is easier for your healers to provide heals and your Firebrand, Renegade, Chronomancer or any other profession that grants you buffs will be able to give you boons. To pull these char, you can use skills like Binding Blade from the Guardian Greatsword or use the Grasping Darkness Greatsword skill from the Reaper. It really does not matter what it is as long as it pulls enemies towards you. In the top right of your screen, you will also see two bars. The top bar shows the amount of reward chests you will get after you have finished the strike. Kill as many mobs as possible to increase this number. The second bar shows whenever you get an artillery strike. This bar fills up whenever you kill char or char helicopters that pollute the playing field with damaging fields. The key takeaway here is to slap as many char as possible. Now, during the first phase, there will be 3 to 4 champions you must kill. These do not have a fixed timer on when they should spawn. It is all based on how fast you kill the enemies. For me, they usually spawn around these timestamps. The first one spawns at 6.45, the second one at 4.20, <laughs> and the third one at 2 minutes. They are not hard to beat, just break their break bar and do damage. You can use your electrical pulse here to break their break bar, however, you want to try and save at least one or two charges of this skill. We need something for the last boss. When there is just one minute remaining, it will become tricky. You will get overwhelmed by a ton of char. The key here is to keep it cool, stay tied together and use your blocks and your heals to stay alive. You don't have to kill them all because when the timer reaches zero, they will all run off. This is also a good opportunity to kill some extra char to get the extra reward chests. But don't stray away from your main goal, staying alive. Now, the big bad boss fight with Ferinia Storm Sounder. As you will see in the gameplay of the strike mission, Storm Sounder will summon adds and will also use skills that make your playing field smaller. For example, she summons char that create walls of fire and she uses a char tank to run you over. This should not cause too much trouble. Make sure to stay out of AoEs and pull the char towards you and finish them off with cleave or the AoE damage from your squad. What you should be worried about is her buffs. The first one is Icy Echoes. Although the description of this buff is a bit vague, I'm sure it is some kind of retaliation. So if you attack her, she will return some of the damage back to you. The second one is Lethal Coalescence. This allows her to shoot a magic beam towards you or your squad members. This does a good amount of damage and it will impact everyone that is hit by it. The last one, Flash Freeze, is a time jump in order to avoid chilling pulses. You can remove all these buffs and briefly stun her by breaking her break bar. And now it is time for your electromagnetic pulse. Make sure that your party members save some of these charges 
charges because she will regain these buffs eventually. And when that happens, the cycle starts over. Just remove her buffs by breaking her break bar again. Once you get all of that, you understand about 80% of the fight. Another important mechanic of the fight is the green circle mechanic. Once you see that, make sure to get close together in order to spread out the damage. The more people that are in this circle, the less damage everyone will take. You might remember this mechanic from the Whisper of Jormax strike. And the last, and maybe one of the more important ones, is the mechanic where she summons assassins. Once you have an orange circle below your feet, move away from the group and dodge at the last moment before the inner circle touches the outer circle. This will make sure the assassins cannot damage you. They will do a good amount of damage and can insta down you if you are about half health. And that's really about it. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you with the strike. If you have a question, just leave it in the comments as usual. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You know what to do. It helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching and peace.